it's time to bring out our second guest from Central Africa. Africa! Yeah. Uh, here is Malcolm the Lion. Oh, I smell tacos. Hey, are there tacos over here? Whoa! Whoa. Uh, no, no, I'm afraid not, Malcolm, but welcome to the show. Oh, Jim, I must remember to get some of those before I leave. Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't count on getting any tacos. We're one hungry family here. Yeah, well, I know what that's like. Where I live, everyone seems to be hungry all the time. Oh, oh, yeah, I can oh. show you if you want. Oh, you brought tape? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Here's a lion looking out over the horizon, hoping to find something to eat. Mm -hmm. Not a taco in sight. Oh, well, actually, we lions prefer to eat wildebeest and zebra. Now, why do some lions have long hair and some don't? Oh, well, uh, that hair is called a mane. Well, only male lions have a mane. The female lion or lioness look more like other cats. Now, male lions like this fellow are also much bigger than the females. Is that male lion going out to hunt? Oh, probably not, Jake. Uh, in a pride of lions, the female does almost all the work, and the male does, uh, well, most of the sleeping. Oh, good deal. Hey, what's a pride of lions? Oh, a uh, pride of lions is what uh, lions call our family group. Each pride has around 30 lions in it. Looks like those lions just found dinner. Yeah, 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 a herd of zebras. Yeah, catching some of these would make a perfect meal for this lioness and her pride. Now, wh what's she doing? Oh, well, she's stalking. Uh, she moves in a very slowly hiding herself in the tall grass until she's close enough to strike. But as soon as the zebra sees her, it warns the rest of the herd. <laughs> and they run away as fast as they can. Oh, well, that's one good thing about tacos. They almost never run away. Yeah, well, hunting is hard work. At least I imagine it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, it seems we're always on the hunt, even for water. How come? Well, in the Kalahari Desert, where many of us live, water is very hard to find. But it's extremely important. We must drink gallons of it to survive in the hot African sun. Now, where is this lion headed? Well, that's a male lion who has been forced out of his family group because he was a threat to the leader of the pride. Ooh, it looks like he found some dinner. <laughs> yeah, well... That egg won't be very filling, but it could be all he gets for a while. With no lioness to do the hunting, a male lion like this will settle for eggs and leftover meals killed by other animals. Why doesn't he just hunt for himself? Well, he will if he has to. But a male lion is just not as good at hunting as a lioness, so, you know, why bother? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what makes a lioness the better hunter? Mm, uh, well, lionesses are smaller and faster than male lions, and that makes them better hunters. Well, let's watch some lionesses in action, huh? Now, good hunting is all about strategy. You can't just run after your prey, you need to plan the attack. Well, what is this lioness doing? Well, she and the three friends have found this herd of wildebeest who are grazing. An animal that's eating or drinking is always easier to sneak up on. You just have to be patient and make sure they don't see you. Now these three lionesses will get as close as they can, then hide. Then this fourth lioness will charge into the herd and force the wildebeest to run right at her friends. Most of the wildebeest will get away, but if they catch even one, it will make a very good meal for the pride. Yeah. Well, thank you, Malcolm, for telling us what it's like to live in a pride of lions. Yeah. Sounds like it's real easy for you male lions and a lot of work for the lionesses. Mm, well, lionesses are better hunters, but uh, I'm a better singer. Oh, oh, would you sing us a song? Well, uh, only a few in your family group sings with me. Well, they're right over there. Yeah. I'd love to. Let's go. <laughs> are tough, and some of us are roaches, and some of us are rough, some of us are stinky, and some of us are Jake. What a mighty mixture we're sure to make. Modulate! We are one! 
late for Animal Awards. Oh, no. Oh, 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 the, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's yeah, go, yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's time for Animal, animal Awards. Wars. Oh, my aching ears. Today we find out which of these animals is the fiercest. Is it the mountain gorilla? Is the crocodile Armstrong? No. Oh, the male lion Stinky. Or the bull elephant. And the winner is... The male lion! Though he doesn't do much of his own hunting, the male lion is a powerful animal who will fight to the finish to defend the members of his pride. The very fierce male lion, winner of today's Animal, animal Award! Yay! <laughs> oh, well oh, no! Oh, uh, uh, we were late for today's story! Hurry, oh, hurry, oh, hurry! Oh, uh, oh, oopsie bearski! Whoop! Hey, come on, everybody! All right, okay. It's time it's for today's story! Oh, oh, wait for me! Wait for me! Wait for me! You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, there was a chameleon named Cosmo who asked if he could join the gorilla club. Nice tail, said one of the biggest gorillas. Thank you, said Cosmo. Does that mean I can join your club? And he waited for their answer. And then one of the baby gorillas smelled Cosmo, and he said, You can join if you turn into a gorilla when I flick the magic branch. Ready, said the gorilla? Yes, said Cosmo, and Cosmo hung on very tight. Did it work, asked Cosmo? No, said the gorillas. So as the gorillas watched, Cosmo walked sadly away, knowing he would never be able to join the Gorilla Club. But he lived happily ever after anyway. The, the end. end! Oh, that oh, was a great story. Well, I was in the Gorilla yeah, Club. Say, mm -hmm. yeah. what do we do now, oh happy family group of mine? Follow me! Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, are you ready for Habitat Time? I was oh, afraid sorry. of this. Oh, warm, strongy wang, it'll be fun. We all go together. I think that we'd be taken together. It's a little too far. Yeah, you know, Armstrong's right. And besides, I don't think we can all fit through the door. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, okay. Oh, but wait here till we all get back. Okay. okay. And I'll be waiting here too. Oh, uh, nice okay. try, Armstrong. Uh, 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 Look, African uh, savanna. Uh, uh, let's go back, Bunny. Isn't, isn't that a cheetah? No, Armstrong. It's a family of cheetahs. Oh, great. Oh, and there's a Thompson's gazelle. We'll run, Gazelle, there's a cheetah around. I think those Topi have the right idea. Gazelles and Topis live in herds because it's safer. Huh. Hey, uh, what about that little guy? Ah, that's a waterbuck calf. And there's his mother. Waterbucks rove in small herds near rivers and marshes. Ooh, what is that? I'm strong. Right. You should know it's a bird's nest. Oh, so it is. Yeah, it was built by a colony of weaver birds. They work together to weave grasses and other plant materials into a big nest with separate entrance holes. Yeah, now that's what I call a family. A large family. <laughs> oh, hey, watch out. We could get run over here. Those are wildebeest. Like most of the animals who graze here in Africa, a lot of wildebeest families join together to make one big herd. Really? It's safer. There can sometimes be tens of thousands of animals in one wildebeest herd. One, two, three, four, oh, four, maybe let me see this. Ten. During the rainy season, they yeah. scatter, but Six. gather together again during the dry season around water holes or rivers. Right After now. the breeding season, the wildebeest begin their long annual migration. Wow, look at them go. Speaking of going, yeah. maybe we'd better get back to see what our family is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, we're back, we're back, we're back! But they've gone! So much for family togetherness. Oh, for habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And Armstrong the Chicken Hawk, just back from the African savannah. Come on, Armstrong, let's go and find out where everyone is. All right. Action. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rath, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Sir? Mm -hmm. Answer this question. Which of the following animals is the closest relative to the elephant? The elephant seal, the manatee, the rock hyrax, or the hippopotamus? Your answer. 
Darling, my answer is there's a lion on the show, and if I don't get out of here, you'll be notifying my relatives. Oh. Uh, and speaking of next of kin, the animal that is most closely related to the elephant is the rock hyrax. It is thought the elephant in the rock hyrax had a common ancestor. Some of this family went on to live in trees, like the rock hyrax, and the others to live off trees, like the elephant. I'm Rhonda Rat reporting on the rock hyrax. Wait, 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 oh, now, but, oh, sorry about that, honey, Rhonda. Well, I'm sorry, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, we're trying to find out why our dear little family left us all on our lonesome. Excuse oh. me, excuse me. Whoa. Well, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank our special guests, Gilda the Gorilla and Malcolm the Lion. And remember, oh, keep... Well, well, stinky, stinky. Well, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you wait for us after habitat time? Oh, well, well, gee, Bunny, didn't you get our note? Wait, what do you mean, what note? Uh, it would be this note that I, uh... <laughs> Forgot to leave. Uh, well, what does it say? Well, well it just says that uh, we don't have to be together, uh, just as long as we're always there for each other. And that's what being a family is all yeah, about. Yeah. Oh, gee, you're right. But you know what? What? I like it best when we're all together. Oh, yeah. 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 Remember, yeah. until next time, to keep on seeing the world through the eyes of...